When most people think about having a midnight snack, they usually think about having ice cream, pizza, or chips. But when I want the perfect snack, I usually think about having a, gla a glazed donut from Krispy Kreme. From Scrapyard.com, as of February 8th, 2023, Krispy Kreme has 359 locations open in the United States. We even have one right here in Council Bluffs, Iowa. Customers like you can order an original glaze, chocolate ice with cream, or be adventurous and order the Reese's Outrageous Donut that is limited time only. Today, we'll be traveling all the way back to July 13th, 1937 to Winston-Salem, North Carolina to experience the home of the original glazed donut. Here we will learn the recipe for this famous donut. First, we'll mix in our secret yeast brought in by our creator in the origin story of our favorite donut chain, roll up the dough for how the business has grown over the years, and to top it off, add a sweet glaze for the future success of the business. Let's travel back in time and learn about this sweet treat. First up, we'll turn on our mixer to start mixing in our ingredients. One special ingredient needed today is our secret yeast brought in by our creator, Vernon Rudolph. According to smithsonian.edu, Vernon was born June 30th, 1915 in Marshall County, Kentucky. Vernon has a younger brother named Lewis, who is a co-founder of Krispy Kreme. From the North Carolina Museum of History, Vernon had bought a secret yeast recipe from a New Orleans French chef in 1933. Originally, here he was, before he was working at his uncle's donut shop in Purdue, Kentucky, but because of the Great Depression, the two set out for Nashville, Tennessee in search of better business. Here, they opened up two donut shops, and because of the success of the shops, Vernon was inspired to create his own business. From Krispy Kreme's website, he set out for Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and rented out an old building. He originally sold his donuts to local grocery stores on July 13, 1937. The aromas of the delicious donuts brought in bystanders who wanted to enjoy this hot donut. He then cut out a hole in the building and soon began selling his original glazed donuts to all customers. Thus, Krispy Kreme was born. Next, we will roll the dough for how the business has grown over the years. According from the 1851 franchise and the Krispy Kreme website, starting just from his family business, soon this donut chain moved across to the southeastern side of the U.S. In, during the 1940s and 50s. These shops still use Vernon's original recipe, but distribution of products became hard. Soon, Vernon and his family invested in a distribution center to make sure that there was enough donut mix and donut materials necessary for each of the stores. After Vernon's death in 1973, the business began to slow down and the Krispy Kreme franchise was sold to Beatrice Foods, a major food processing company. However, as 1982 rolled around, a group of first-time franchise owners bought back Krispy Kreme from Beatrice Foods and continued to spread the business out, out of the southeast. These first-time franchise owners sweet rolled right into opening a new location in New York and California, causing a nationwide experience expansion for the hot donut experience. From Krispy Kreme's website, they have opened over 700 international stores spanning across Asia, Mexico, the Middle East, Puerto Rico, and Turkey. Today, Krispy Kreme is a privately owned business by Jab Holding, a German company located in Luxembourg. Finally, we will top these specially made donuts with a sweet glaze for the future success. Nation's Restaurant News did an interview with Krispy Kreme CEO Mike Tattersfield. Tattersfield stated that the donut chain lacked in business due to, the, due to people not having access to their shops. Krispy Kreme would like to focus on the less traditional growth model and instead, in the future, want to focus on dark, opening dark shops instead. These dark shops would be set up for those who cannot reach Krispy Kreme locations and help boost their revenue. The, this would mean Krispy Kreme would bake and deliver fresh donuts every day for certain delivery points in certain areas. These dark shops have been tested in London and will soon begin the same process in urban areas in the United States. Look out for these dark shops to be set up near your area sometime soon. If you ever travel to Louisville, Kentucky, Make sure you go to, to nine of their McDonald's locations to try out their Krispy Kreme donuts. From CNN News, 
Krispy Kreme baked and delivered fresh donuts every day for a short period of time starting October 26 of 2022. Customers could order an original glazed chocolate ice with sprinkles or get a raspberry filled donut. Krispy Kreme stated that this small scale test will help us understand how offering new baker items like Krispy Kreme could impact our operations in our restaurants. Krispy Kreme shares rose over 4% after their partnership with McDonald's. This partnership with Louisville McDonald's can move across the country and continue to boost their revenue. As we begin to sell these tasty baked treats, we can reflect on our baking experience today. Today, we turn on our mixer to mix in our secret yeast to meet our creator and the origin story of our favorite donut chain, roll out the dough for how the business has grown over the years, and finally, we top the specially made pastry with a sweet glaze for the future success. I'd like to thank our sponsor, Krispy Kreme, for taking the time to take us throughout their history as a successful business. Be sure to head out to your local Krispy Kreme and get a hot, fresh donut, especially if it's a midnight snack.